Welcome to the Haunted Hangover Podcast. I'm Louie, and as always, I'm joined by my bud, Dave. Hey. And we're back with another watch-along video to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Mm-hmm. And uh, before we get into what we're going to be watching today, uh, we actually have a St. Patrick's Day-themed episode of the podcast out right now where Dave and I talk about Leprechaun 3. So go give that oh, a listen. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're going full on green <laughs> with those uh, with those two <laughs> things. So uh, here we are. Check those both out. And today we're gonna be watching the "Are You Afraid of the Dark" episode, the tale of Jake and the Leprechaun. Yes, so sir. you know we've been covering a lot of "Are You Afraid of the Dark" when it comes to these watch along videos, Dave. <laughs> it's one of our favorites. It is. It's it's something uh, Dave and I love. Maybe in our yeah. next video, our next watch along, we'll uh, change it up and do something different. But Absolutely. honestly, w- when looking into stuff for us to watch when it comes to something that's along 30 minutes, like a TV show or something like that, not a full feature, there's not a lot of St. Patrick's Day themed shit. It was, it was kind of hard to find something. Like, I'm happy we were able to do this. No, of course. Are you afraid of the dark? Is always good to watch, and it's it's always fun. Yeah. And, and we have a good time doing the doing this specifically with Are You Afraid of the Dark? But it would have been cool to change change it up for this for this month and for this St. Patrick's Day themed episode of this yeah. of this show that we have. But it really is. It's tough. There's only one other thing I found, and it's uh, from the show the The Haunting Hour. Arl Stein. The Haunt... R.L. Right. Stein's The Haunting Hour. I'll be honest. I never really watched much of that. I'll be very that, honest with you. That show's awesome. It's really good, honestly. I'm I, sure I could, it is. Yeah. And they have a St. Patty's Day leprechaun-themed episode, but it's not available anywhere. So that's why we went back to Are You Afraid of the Dark? So this episode was released on October 24th, 1992. That's interesting wow. because that's nowhere near St. Patrick's Day. October. It's closer well, to Halloween. I'm, but <laughs> I'm sure they do this all like they do all these episodes just, you know, to have them yeah. for you know, just to have them on the you know, when they want to release them. I mean it makes sense. It so. does, but it's it's just an odd date because the twenty fourth of October, like St. Patrick's Day is months away from that date. But Yeah, it's <laughs> it, it's strange. It's just it's even weirder to think I was nine years old when this episode came out. It's fucking, it's wild. <laughs> yeah. And, and this was part of season one, episode 10. So I vaguely remember this. Like, I, I, I'm i aware of it. Like, I know certain scenes and certain parts. Um, I know you said that you're not very familiar with this one. No. It's definitely a good episode. It's a fun episode. Yeah, I don't remember anything about this episode. Like, right now, if you ask me a question, like, what's this episode about? couldn't tell you anything about it because it's not one i revisit that often (laughs) yeah you probably know a a little bit more about it than i do uh but yeah we're gonna have a countdown and we're watching this on amazon so if you want to follow along with us that's the version we're watching i think in the last video i said like it's available on voodoo and for the most part it's the same video nickelodeon intro so countdown three two one play on play you hit play Three, two, one, play. Classic intro. We always mention that. <laughs> I was just going to say it. <laughs> you, have to, you have to mention it. Any, dude, anytime anyone talks about uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark, they talk about the intro, so... You know what I would love to see? I would love to see, like, production stills from, like, you know, like, from behind the scenes shooting this, in, like, this opening and stuff. And just the show in general. Yeah, like the attic with that clown, right? Everyone, you know, that's probably a set. Because there's, like, nothing out there. <laughs> yeah. If you search it, like, I actually, I've never really tried to search it, so I guess I should. <laughs> Oh no, this I didn't <laughs> This is a, a downer of a start, man. Jesus.
Yeah, dude, who is this kid? I don't recognize this kid at all. He's one of the original members, but he's only on he's only on for the first season, I think. It's Eric, His right? His name's Eric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he have an accent? No, he's just he's doing an Irish accent. <laughs> I thought he like he doesn't have he doesn't have one. He's a little <laughs> runt on the show. Like he's like a little pest. Really? Well, he's getting like a really sympathetic uh, character arc here his with his grandpa, grandpa just dying. died. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know what Come a on. leprechaun is. Come I know. on. <laughs> what is a leprechaun? Come on, Kiki. <laughs> That's not supposed to be a leprechaun hat, right? It looks like a pirate hat. Hey, they might do things differently in Canada. (laughs) You sure this kid doesn't have an accent? He has a little, like I hear a little twang in his voice. He's only only doing it for for this, I'm telling you. He's a little runt on the show. My boy Jake. I know you know what I'm going to say right now. <laughs> say it. I know you've been dying to say it when we pick this episode. No. This kid just looks like young Jerry Seinfeld. Every time I watch this fucking episode, look at him. Tell me that's not Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> he does. He has like the little mullet and his face does look like Seinfeld's like face. Him. Yeah, he does. He does. He does have, they have similar uh, characteristics. <laughs> Why is this leprechaun always coming after me? Like, that's all I'm, I'm just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be amazing if, like, one of these shirt companies made a, um, like, a parody shirt of him and it just says Seinfeld and, the you know, the Seinfeld logo. That would be amazing. <laughs> I highly doubt that. I don't think this is uh, high on people's Are You Afraid of the Dark list this episode. It's it's definitely a decent episode. No, I can't. Look at him. <laughs> with the with the puffy shirt on too. <laughs> oh, I can't. He's got the puffy shirt on. He's even got the puffy Good observation. shirt. <laughs> you didn't even think about the puffy shirt in the, He's no, wearing it right there. <laughs> Yo, and he's also got like that 90s swagger like yeah. yeah, you ever notice that Seinfeld always had sick Nikes on? He always yeah. had like crazy Air Maxes on or Air Structures. <laughs> he always wore like dad jeans, like Nikes, like yeah, a but, watch. But his, <laughs> but his Nikes made the dad jeans work, so it didn't matter what he wore. <laughs> and his shirts always look a size too big on him, so <laughs> I don't know yeah, why. I think right. that was just the '90s. That was just the style. It was. It was. <laughs> yeah. Always tucked in, too. Always. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is this dude just pounding down booze on set, like, while the kids are, like, I in between takes? I think it's tea or something. It's, like, a special oh. blend of tea that he's <laughs> yeah. drinking. Yo, that tea, 100%, a little, little rum in it or something. Probably. The way he's acting. Probably. <laughs> yeah. He does have the puffy shirt on. <laughs> Little Jerry Seinfeld. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, you! once you see it, it cannot be unseen, dude. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> What's oh. the deal with all these leprechauns? <laughs> Oh my god. It's so distracting now that <laughs> the Jerry Seinfeld. That's all thing. you're gonna think about. <laughs> Look, he's even dressed like him. Look <laughs> minus That's the fine. hat. <laughs> uh oh. Oh god. He's a little person. What? (laughs) 
Yeah. Sean yeah, O'Shaney is, is his name? Is on point. My dude's got Tim's on. He's handling business. <laughs> Man, he's, I'm telling you, his hair's on point. His fucking outfit's on point. <laughs> Is he? Tr- oh, he's trying to get. He's trying to get herbs. Wow, oh, this guy's damn mean. boy. <laughs> I thought he was gonna rip it up. No, he just <laughs> tosses it to the side. Uh oh. Was that Warwick Davis? <laughs> you would think maybe they would try to get Warwick Davis in this episode. <laughs> it's leprechauns. Wait, how did he get his his how did he get his hands on the kid's hat? <laughs> did he drop it? Maybe I missed that. Frog that. Too. I guess he dropped it. <laughs> the acting in this Yo, I don't know why there's something very unsettling about this dude, this old guy. <laughs> oh, this guy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that vest. What's he got? A gun holster on the side there? Next to his uh, satchel? Oh, that's a water uh, jug thing. It's kind of coming back to me now. Isn't it that like, the play he's a part of, it's the kid wants to become a leprechaun, then it actually starts to happen to him? Yeah. <laughs> they got this fucking kid with his green pants and purple shirt. Green shorts. Really long shorts and purple fucking polo. 90s. <laughs> Yeah, I did hear that voice change. Are they acting as part of the play, or is he is he actually asking to become a leprechaun? No, he's he's, he's they're in a play. <laughs> they're practicing, like they're rehearsing. Yes, I see that. But... They're rehearsing. Uh oh, what's he got in there? Oh, Shaney. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this guy's so grumpy, this little dude. <laughs> He's a gr- Oh. Damn, he hit him in the dick? Why is there even a gate there? You can just walk <laughs> around it. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That's his little house. You're going through puberty, buddy. That's what that is. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then it starts to happen to him. There's the shillelagh. You made fun of me about knowing what that the was shillelagh. in our last episode. You didn't know what a shillelagh was. I never heard of it. <laughs> it's like, it's a pipe. It's a pipe I think you like smoke tobacco out of. It's like an Irish thing. Well, good on you, Lou. <laughs> knowing what a shillelagh is. Shame on me. Good on you. Yo. I wonder if Jerry Seinfeld has ever seen this or someone ever been like, yo, you know there's a kid on Are You Afraid of the Dark that looks exactly like you. <laughs> Someone's if had Jerry to say Seinfeld something If Jerry Seinfeld was related to me, I would show him this episode and be like, any thoughts? <laughs> so far, there's nothing creepy about this episode. Nothing's really happening. 
<laughs> oh, this this young Seifeld's on his journey to be a leprechaun. There we Yo, go. Yo, leprechaun shillelagh is way more brutal though than his. <laughs> leprechaun has a shillelagh that can destroy and kill people. Yeah, it's like <laughs> cast iron. Oh. Is, where's this kid's parents? Like, he's always at this he show with this any. creepy old man. He's, he he's was, running around hanging out with, like, a little dude. Where are his parents? He's so ahead of his time, he outgrew his parents, and he lives on his own. <laughs> he's got an apartment in New York City and a crazy, neighbor, na- a crazy neighbor named Kramer. <laughs> oh, man, imagine. <laughs> Oh, his voice gets deep every time he takes a sip from that thing. Oh! Yo, this old guy, I can't tell when he's acting part of the play. I know. Or he's (laughs) acting in, like, real life in the episode. (laughs) There's no separation. You can't tell. You can't tell. Sean O'Shea. Is that his name? Sean O'Shea Lee or something? Yeah, I think so. Damn, he's an asshole. He released the rope. Oh, shit. He's got pointy ears. (gasps) (laughs) Yo, my man Sean O'Shea over here looks like he should be in the Goo Goo Dolls or something. This is something that rarely happens too, where they cut back to the Midnight Society. That only happens sometimes. They do it sometimes. every now and no, they, yeah. they do it every now and then. And I noticed another funny thing. I feel like in the like mid to early '90s, everyone was biting off of Home Alone, so there was always like a shot of a kid just like screaming, <laughs> like that was Definitely. like a thing too. And this episode obviously just did that. Mm-hmm. Is this guy a leprechaun? I, I'm confused. He's turning the he's the other kid's turning know. into a leprechaun, but is he a leprechaun? That he's I just don't Irish. <laughs> the shillelagh. Imagine if the Seinfeld baseline came in right now. <laughs> oh, he's got the, the beanie on now. <laughs> what happened? He wasn't wearing that hat two seconds ago, and it transitions to the next shot. Gotta He's got his ears. That's a great line. Lucky charms and four leaf clovers. That's how lucky they are. That there's a a, a fire detector there. Uh oh. Yo, you know whatever that dude was smoking was some shit. Some serious shit, probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Yo, this dude is all. This old guy is always on. He's just always on. <laughs> like I said, you can't tell when he's acting you and when he's <laughs> nope. just living. I love it. <laughs> oh man, this kid's reactions are, are priceless. Oh, it's interesting. They kind of insinuate that it's this guy that's kind of putting the spell on him, but they find this like this little area. He's like super nice to the kid. Someone else is is doing this all to him, turning him into a leprechaun with spells. Cowslip. What does that mean? (laughs) Foxglove, cowslip. Gotta look these up to see if they're real. Uh oh. It's the old guy. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, you see? You can just tell he's 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 up to no good, man, this fucking old guy. Oh, Here, he's, watch. He's, watch when he, he's he's a Watch leprechaun. when he takes his slippers off. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 
Jesus. <laughs> oh, wait, so he's like a big leprechaun. Or some kind of folklore. <laughs> oh no, he's got a hairy back. Maybe he's just a hairy dude. Why, what is that? <laughs> well, he's got the pointy ears and a hairy back. He's like very hobbitish. Yeah, that's what that. That's what I was. Those feet reminded me of a hobbit. Yeah. I like how they just up and leave. Yeah, this dude is just. <laughs> that old guy is is, is is didn't even notice them leave. He didn't hear anything. That's what I'm saying. They just they they just up and left. There you go. He's a banshee. Oh, he's, he's, he's a banshee. A mm, okay. So the toad is a person. <laughs> there goes his parents. He'll call his dad. <laughs> his dad I'll call is not George. Around. We'll take care of this now. Be like, there's a leprechaun. There's 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 a banshee turning me into a leprechaun. Listen, I'll call George and Elaine. <laughs> oh my god. I think Willow the Wisp is like a famous like tale. I could be uh, wrong, but I think it is. I love how he's got all this shit going on and he's still a part of the play. Like, he couldn't... He couldn't stop acting in the play. It had to continue. Nope. Even though he's working with the dude that's turning him into a leprechaun. And he knows he's a fucking creature. <laughs> you think that dude was just hanging behind the door the entire performance and just waited until... <laughs> just waiting for him? I hope not. <laughs> That little dude was just behind the door just waiting. And as soon as it ended, he was able to just reveal himself. Oh, God. <laughs> Swallow these two spiders. Oh! <laughs> what was that supposed to do? <laughs> like... Hey, don't ask questions, Lou. <laughs> don't try to make sense of Are You Afraid of the Dark? That's what I'm Just saying. Sprinkle them with, sprinkle them with uh, some glitter. <laughs> this kid is not a very good actor. <laughs> he might it look like Seinfeld. He might look like Seinfeld, but he's... uh. He doesn't have that He's that not com me. that comedic timing. Yeah, it's a kids show. You always gotta let them slide. I think I always make fun yeah. of the kids' actings, like the acting. But the, the kids probably like fucking ten years old. <laughs> Dude, there's some Are You Afraid of the Dark episodes where the kids like knock it out of the park, where they're like fucking great. Yeah, so. Sure. Uh oh, he switched it. I love how him turning into a leprechaun is just getting pointy ears. That's it. Like, he hasn't, like, grown anything else. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing else is metamorphosized on him. Like, nothing else has changed. Yo, he broke character. Uh-oh. He <laughs> just transforms into a fucking completely different thing. Wearing different wardrobe. He really did. I do like how they, like, the way he can be transformed back into a human, he had to do it on stage during the performance. So, like, everyone else thinks it's still part, it's part of the show. Hey, it makes for a hell of a show. <laughs> See, so the little dude is not a leprechaun. He doesn't have pointy ears. 
He so he's just he could have been anyone. True. That's the hat that Eric was wearing. Did you pick up on that? Yeah. That I'm just Sean's trying to figure holding. out if it's just like supposed to be part of the folklore. I guess maybe he's maybe he is a leprechaun. He just doesn't have pointy ears. Because <laughs> he has powers. Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> this dude's fucking creepy, man. <laughs> Dude. No. no. <laughs> oh man, he's a frog. Oh, what the fuck is that a snake? Oh, his tail. Sure is. <laughs> Oh god, it looks like something else. I don't want to it looks like It does look like a snake. <laughs> looks like a giant turd as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, that's all it took. Throw his own tail at him to defeat him. Now he's a frog. Uh They did all that. He he was basically using the kid to defeat the Banshee himself. <laughs> yep. So the little dude, Sean, is kind of an asshole in the end. <laughs> like He's doing what's right. <laughs> and He's the girl the, world. the the stage manager or whatever she is, the director's completely fucking lost the girl. She's like, ah. She's like, what? He's only a leprechaun when he needs to be. <laughs> Wait, did the did he just say the boy disappeared forever? No, Aaron, oh. the guy that was the guy with oh, the Oh, the tail. bad guy. Okay, that was the yeah. yeah. I, I missed I missed their names completely. Yeah. That was kind of an anticlimactic ending there with the whole yeah, mid- midnight it society. Its, purpose. <laughs> it's uh It's an interesting you, episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark. I would not call you know it I, great. <laughs> you know what I would say this would be a good pairing with? Like to to watch before you watch this movie. Watch this and then watch Troll 2. They're 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 on par. The kid is not a good actor. Honestly, most of the story is kind of boring. <laughs> not much happens. It's I feel entertaining. It's entertaining in the way that Are You Afraid of the Dark would be entertaining. But when you think of Are You Afraid of the Dark and some of the other episodes where like monsters and creatures and supernatural entities show up, like I feel like this episode, they should have had him turning into a leprechaun like be more of a thing like his ears turn pointy and that's it like i mean and then, and then the real guy a that's kid, a leprechaun didn't even have kid. ears but think about it you got a little kid you got um you know maybe his parents or maybe him they didn't want to put him in makeup or something you know what i'm saying like so they were like oh well fuck it we got this kid that looks like jerry seinfeld <laughs> and uh we'll use him <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, I don't know if people could see this or not, but where you have this, where you stop the episode, and I always, I always forget to mention this. One of the creative consultants on the show, the dude's name is Bill Bonecutter. Yeah, I think you might have mentioned that if, once before. It is, if that's, that's a, his real last name, that is, that is something. It's a rest. It sounds like a wrestler's name from like nineteen eighty nine. It really does. <laughs> but yeah, this it episode, I, I would not. I wouldn't place it high on my Are You Afraid of the Dark list. So here we go. All right. So one to five, five being great, one being complete shit. I give this a two. 
And mm-hmm. I can see why watching it back now with you and with everyone watching along with us, why I haven't revisited. It's just not an interesting story to me. Yeah, if it's on TV, of course, I'll watch it. Sorry for the dark. But I could see now watching it back why it's not one I, I'm hitting play on that often, you know? Okay. Where do you stand sure. with it? One to five. Where, I, what do you give it? I'll give it, I'll give it a three. A three. So even on yours, it's right it's, in the middle. It's fun to me. It's not amazing. It's not one of the best. It's not one of the worst. It's a middle ground episode. It's an episode I wouldn't skip over. It's an episode that if it was on, I'd leave it on. It's silly. And it's, you know, it's, again, listen, the whole aspect of the kid looking like Jerry Seinfeld is so <laughs> amusing to me that... You can't, un- like you said, you can't unsee it. So That's the- <laughs> people are gonna funny, watch man. this. People are gonna watch this and, j- and watch this and just say, "I hope they do." <laughs> All these guys talked about was how this kid looked like Jerry Seinfeld for for thirty minutes. <laughs> That's all you. T- that's all you can take away from this episode, and that's bad. Be- that's what I'm saying. Like the episode isn't Young that Seinfeld. great. The only thing we loved about it, or the thing that we thought was entertaining, was the fact that the kid looked like Seinfeld. And it's funny because at the time Seinfeld was on, so yeah, it was some like you said, someone had to have brought that up, either to him I'll say this. or in general. The Seinfeld aspect is enough for me. Would you would you say this is a lower tier? Are you afraid of the dark? No, I'd say it's mid tier. Really? You think there's worse yeah. episodes than this? I can't um, think of any off the top of my head that I, I don't like. I really, honestly, I enjoy all of them. Right, I enjoy the show as a whole, but I think th- I still think this is a forgettable episode. <laughs> I don't think. This is a very I mean, good episode. I, I see what you're saying. To me, it's just it's just kind of you know what it is. I'm looking at it as as a collective, and uh, collectively it fits in perfectly with the Are You Afraid of the Dark World? So that's how I'm assessing this. If that makes sense. For St. Patrick's Day, I'd say give it a watch. Like it's 22 minutes, and there's leprechauns, sort of. I feel like that's really the to me that's the missed opportunity. They should have done more with the leprechaun aspect of it. You know, the little I, dude doesn't yeah, really look like you. a leprechaun and the kid just gets pointy ears. So yeah. I don't know. If if you want to watch uh, an Are You Afraid of the Are You Afraid of the Dark episode that has leprechauns and uh magic and a banshee, check this one out. <laughs> Absolutely. So that was Are You Afraid of the Dark, The Tale of Jake and the Leprechaun. Be sure to subscribe, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, at Haunted Hangover. If you can give us a thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. And remember, the best cure for a hangover is... More booze. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Bye.